24, 25. And that's kind of what those barbers ring up over there. And I just popped this up and I just saw it in the coin ball. Where'd it go? There it is, right there. Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. We are on the road today and we're headed up to uh, a town about 20 minutes north of me. I'm meeting up with uh, the, uh, the infamous Digger Doc Holiday. He likes to be called. So uh, meeting up with Hunter, who I met up in my last uh, video, last couple of videos. And uh, he's got a house up here, I believe it's early 1900s, or maybe possibly be even late 1800s. Uh, I've done a lot of detecting up in this area, but I've never done this house particular, but he got permission on it where I couldn't get permission maybe four or five years ago. And uh, so I'm gonna meet him up there. We're gonna hit that house and we're gonna go over to a, a very old park where he dug up a seated half dime and a lot of trash in that part, but if you can filter through that trash, you might just get lucky and get a good coin. So we're gonna be trying to do that, but the weather, as you can see, is uh, pretty gloomy today. It's been raining the last two days, so the ground's pretty wet, and it's uh, starting to rain right now. I'm hoping by the time I get there, the rain's gonna be done away with, but we're probably gonna be in and out of rain anyway. So I've got about 20 minutes to go, so I will meet you guys up in the yard. Doc Holiday over here with us. He uh, got us on this location. Got a big, big yard. Got a big side lot. Got a sidewalk strip. We got a side yard, another front yard, another sidewalk strip. And it's right here in the historic section of this town. So, what are we going to get, Doc Holiday? Lots of barbers. <laughs> oh, we we'll hope we get some barbers. Maybe That'd be good. Get sat down or something. I would love to get seated. I'd love to get barber. I'd love to just get silver and maybe a watch fob or, or, or a token or, or something. Mm -hmm. So we don't know if this has been hunted before or not, but uh, I'm sure it probably has. But anyway, let's get out there and let's see what we can dig. Well, I'm going to be using the Equinox today. We're going to be on Park 1, multiple frequency. Uh, we're going to leave everything where it's at. We're just going to go like I always do check my swing uh, return speed it's going to be at five so let's check uh let's put our sensitivity about 21. all right let's get the swing and see what we can find well <clears throat> i've dug a lot of trash and got my first little signal right here and i was ringing up like a 13 to 11 12 13 th thinking it was going to be a buffalo nickel or something like that v nickel and ended up being a nice little buckle not certain on what type of buckle that might be but I'll look that in my buckle book, see if we can't get a date on it. They're definitely going to be Victorian, probably early 1900s. We're going up by the yard. Hunter's on this other side of the sidewalk. I'm on this side. Got a 12, 13, about six inches deep. That's always a good sign when it's that deep. So it is a nickel. I just popped it up. Let me show you. I haven't seen what it is. Let's look, look at it together. Right there. And looks like we're going to have a no, I thought it was going to be a buffalo, at least a buffalo. It's just going to be a, a Jefferson. It's not even a war nickel. Oh, well. I was hoping to reveal a V-nick here since we're on this 1913 home. All right, let's keep looking. All right, got my first Weedy. Hunter and I are playing the Weedy King like uh, Plugmaster and Missouri Mike does. So we're both at one to one. So... I don't know the date on it, I can't see it, so let's keep swinging. Well, finds are few and far between here. Lots of trash, but no coins, no uh, artifacts, really nothing. But I did get something here. I'm on the side of the road on the other side of the house on the sidewalk strip. And uh, just kind of doing this section up through here. And I'm gonna give you one guess what this is, okay? And whoever comments the first is gonna be the winner and can win a PD sticker, okay? And a little surprise. So here we go, ready? I'm gonna reveal it to you right now. First one to comment and tell me exactly what that is is going to be the winner. I know what it is. 
I'm not going to put it on the screen. I want you to comment and tell me what it is. I'll let you get a good look at it. I find a lot of these in no places. All right, let's get going. Well, it's getting a 21, 22. I moved off the sidewalk and came back over here close to the house. Got uh, something here. Check that out. Let's, uh, let's clean it up. Ah, yeah, it's gonna be a face. That's cool. That is really cool. Let's uh, put a little holy water on it. beautiful looking little face isn't it I think it's probably going to be like a door knocker maybe or some decorative piece on a door or something like that I like this kind of relics that's all I've been finding is kind of relics but well, we didn't find too much over at the house uh, right across the street so we came back over here we got permission to do this vacant lot right here we got another vacant lot we're gonna hit as well I've done this lot many years ago but I only did from the trees back the house set right out here and uh, so I'm, I'm going to focus that way this time so wish me luck maybe we can find something on this trip I ain't dug one of these in a long time this is a I was digging right here by this stump which is right here beside the sidewalk just about four feet away and I popped that up it's ringing like a 22 23 I saw that a uh, that uh what do you call those things? I forget what you call those lad, lad lamps right there. I knew it was a lad castle uh, token. Valley's a lad castle token. I haven't dug one of those in a long time. All right, if they missed that, maybe they missed some more right down through here. Let's keep digging. We're in an old park. It used to be an Indian village, and uh, Hunter found a 1800s uh, seated half dime right down there. So we're going to work this a little bit and see what we come up with here. Well, I was just watching the train go by. And Hunter walked up and showed me this uh, big 925 clip. Check this out, man. What? Wow. That's a cool find. It's got some sort of Looks brand. like a money clip. It's got 925 written on the back of it right there. Mm -hmm. That's ornate, too. That looks old. CE or something in it. Dude, I'm glad we came over here now. Yeah, might be able to do a reverse image search. Yeah, hold that up. Let me get a picture of it right there. Yeah. All right. Let's keep on going. There may be some more over here. Well, it's been two days since uh, Mr. What do you call yourself again? Bigger Doc Holiday. <laughs> come back out here we've texas finally got some rain and so uh we come back out here to relic roundup and we're going to hit some spots that we haven't really hit in a while and uh test them out and see if there's anything there so we get something we'll definitely show it to you so let's get to swinging finally i got a good target been digging just tons and tons of trash i've been digging this little area right through here that we've never really come over here and really detected this area right here but I uh, got my horses with me today. They're bringing me some good luck, I guess. So I came over here and check this out. I got a, a 22 signal and had some type of little figurine. It's going to be silver. So uh, let's get the water out and let's see what that is. Let's 
see. Maybe it's going to be like a St. Christopher. Something like that. Looks like maybe a St. Christopher. See a little head here and a head there. Yeah, it's going to say Sterling down there on the bottom. A little piece of silver jewelry. I think it's a, maybe a St. Christopher. I'm not really certain. Well, I think it's Catholic for sure. It definitely says Sterling on the back. So that's going to be 1973 and older. That's when they changed uh, from 925, Sterling to 925, about 73. So, hey, that's my first good find. So uh, let's keep on rolling, see what else we can get. I think that's going to be it maybe big old piece of some type of iron well I dug that out I thought that was what I had in a hole but it was a jumpy signal and kept digging down in there and I see some other iron Hey, oh, I'm sorry. Got to keep it in frame, don't I? That's going to be a, a kind of watch fob. We dug a bunch of watch, fob, watch fobs out of here. Purina cattle chow. Cattle chow. Is that what it says? Cattle chow? Kind of a broken, uh, bronco guy riding a horse. That's kind of fitting since I'm right here in the horse pen and the horse barn. But yeah, man, I'll tell you what. Look at this. That's both came out of the hole. I thought since that was a big piece, that's what I thought I was digging. That's a big old piece of brass. You always check your hole. Double check your hole. That's still in pretty good shape too. But these brass fobs. I've dug one, two, three four five i think this may be my sixth watch fob out of this uh, area over the last uh, four or five years nothing like finding a few treasures this is not too far from where i found the uh that uh, saint christopher whatever that was it was some saint uh, necklace and uh hunter told me that he found a chinese coin a big one of those big chinese coins and so, hey, I'll take this. Let's keep looking. Haven't got any silver coins or Indian heads or even Wheaties. I haven't got anything so far. So let's keep looking, see what we come up with. What is that? Check that out. Let me get my gloves off and I'll show it to you. See it right there? going to be a very good shape well got bent still got a little gold on it it's bent right in the middle creased right in the middle might have hit it with my shovel didn't know it that's going to be a, a a general service button civil war period put that right there there's still still something down in the hole let me set you back up here a second. Oh, 
Yep, another piece of iron nail. But where was the? I guess that buttons don't usually ring up a high tone. They're more mid tone. And I'm not. Oh well. I'll recheck my hole in just a second. That's what it is. Going to be a Civil War period uh, uh, general service button. Kind of bent in the middle. Still pretty good shape. No shrink on the back. Uh, I don't see any writing on the back. I don't know. I have to clean it up a little bit better. Anyway, that's a nice find. I'll take that. We've dug World War One, World War Two buttons out here, and I think we've dug a a uh, Civil War period button out here too. Oh man. It's getting late. I've still got to go over toward the, that big old mansion out over there. There's a backyard I want to kind of hit uh, before I leave today. But I'm just kind of working myself back this way. And uh, ended up getting a real jumpy 24, 25. And that's kind of what those barbers rang up over there. And I just popped this up. And I just saw it in the coin ball. Where'd it go? There it is, right there. Right there. Still... I love it when it's in the coin ball like that. That's in good shape. Looks like a 1901 barber. I might have kissed it with my shovel. Let me get, get all this off of it. This ground over here is a lot better than that ground over there. Yeah, 19, a 1901 barber dime. Great shape, too. Let's see if this got a mint mark. 1901's a key mint, isn't it? 1901 plain. I don't think that's going to be a, a key mint. 1901 O, maybe. All right. Got a little bit of bling out of it today. All right, let's keep work, working down toward Hunter's around the corner over there. So let's keep working ourselves that way. Oh, I'm taking a little break. It's a little warm. It gets cold in Texas a weekend, then it gets hot, and then it gets warm and it's hot, and it's a drought, then we got too much rain. We needed some rain, but uh, I'm fixing to go hunt this area right over here over my shoulder. It's in the backyard, and the train spur kind of went in that area, and the old dirt road kind of went through there, so I'm going to go hit all that. I got my big coil on today, trying to go deeper, and... Uh, so far it's doing really good i found just a few things today but overall it's been some pretty good finds and some unique relic finds is what i like and some other things i haven't shown you i'm digging lots of trash too but a couple of things i haven't shown you so i'll show you that at the wrap up uh so i'm gonna get me some drink me rest up get over here and see what else i can find before the sun goes down well i came over here in the backyard and uh got my second signal here it was ringing up a 29 to a 30 and y'all know what that is i like this this is a token but not just any old token it's a it's a token that's local right here in the town that i'm digging in it was an old department store here and uh and this is my fourth one of these that i found and uh let me clean it up this was even old like it was a necklace let me clean it up and i'll show you a close-up to it I forgot the name. It's still got all the writing on it. It's back to 30, 40s, I think. There it is. 18, 1946 to 1898 to 1946, I think. All right, let me just keep doing some work, and I'll get by the camera and we'll get a close-up. In the sun here. It is a K. Wollens department store. 1898 to 1948. K. Wollens, there he is right there. It's a good luck coin, good luck token. Good luck coin commemorating our uh, 
whatever service i can't read that but maybe you can read it on camera hey i like this kind of stuff this is my fourth one so i collect these time to make a display now of these this one's hold i guess they wore it as a necklace all right let's get a picture let's keep on going Ooh, i'm tired this has been pretty good uh this place is just never hunted out i'm telling you gosh it's just every time the last three times i've come out here i have found a barber dime and uh just one and i found those watch fobs and uh you know whatever else i found today i can't remember that token and uh so there's just still this place is just so old and so big i mean i bet all of this is probably about four acres or so that we're dealing with and so every time we come out, we find something. So I'm not gonna do my wrap up just yet. I've got uh, a, a house that I'm seeking permission on. It's 1890 house, one of the oldest houses here in this town. And if they'll give me permission, I'll put that uh, dig on this video. If not, then you'll just see my wrap up next and uh, we'll just save that for another day if I can get on it sometime later. So anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm fixing to go get me something to eat. So I will see you guys hopefully at the house. If not, I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, I waited on the lady to give me a call to see if I got permission on that old house and I haven't gotten anything yet. So I just thought I would go ahead and do a wrap up. And if I get that 18, late 1800s home, I'll make that another video for my next one to come out. But uh, pretty good video. I just right now, I haven't had a lot of time to detect. Uh, I've, uh, a lot of you may not know that I have resigned my church after 16 years. And so I'm in the process of transitioning to another place of employment to another town and moving and doing all that so my time has kind of been limited here lately and will be for the next uh, month or so but uh, anyway i had a pretty good uh, week on this uh, trip of detecting and uh, had a good time meeting up with hunter and uh finding a few good relics so let me turn you around let me show you what i got all right here's all my trash typical stuff in these house sites you're going to dig a lot of lead lots of trash but you got to dig all that to find the good stuff and here's all the the keepers i would say i eyeballed that on the ground a little sonic keychain and a little toy car some type of little fob you can tell it had a, a thing right there it doesn't have any writing on it uh oh water nozzle i collect those i've got about 50 of them uh part of an old uh alarm clock got a bullet and then uh, three different types of makeup lids and, and one makeup case there here's all my clad I got one quarter and uh, one dime two nickels and we got uh, 13 pennies I found uh, a set of keys they were about two foot apart from one another a Ford key and a house key and then in the video I asked what was this and did y'all get it right this is a model T Ford uh, points I think that's what that is points uh, distributor points or whatever it is I got a bunch of these I've dug a quite a few of those up uh, over the years I got a whole collection of the Model T I did get two wheat pennies I didn't even look and see what year they were um, I haven't cleaned anything up yet I uh, got this one little fob it's a Purina cattle does that say chow yeah chow make feed dollars count and uh, that's kind of a unique thing I have a whole watch fob display and that'll go in there as well found an old buckle I don't know if that's riding or that's what is that it looks like something on each one right there maybe just a decoration found a couple of things here this kind of has a a backing to it I don't know if that's where a pin was and this was kind of a, a, a brooch that they wore kind of a cluster of grapes and then that is a Art Nouveau a piece of um, decorative material I don't know what it came off of or whatever but it uh, it would date from 1890s uh, to 1910 and I dug that on that 1910 home so that fits right in there kind of a neat piece a couple of tokens one of Bally's Aladdin token and then the one token I really like and this is a good luck token from the K Walden department store in the town. This is a local token. This is number four, number five that I have of these from 1898 to 8, 1948. And so that's a good find. I like finding those tokens there. I did find a, a really good button. This is going to be a Civil War period or post-Civil War uh, period. 
still got a little bit of the gilt on it it's bent right there on the shield there is no shank on it whatsoever no writing is all worn off of it so that's always a good find I like finding military buttons and then a uh, st. Christopher I didn't know what this was I had to text my friend Bayou Diggs who is Catholic and uh, I knew that he would know and so I texted him and sent him a picture and he said yep that's a st. Christopher and it says sterling right there on the bottom so that's gonna date it pre 1973 at least and the best find of the week was a 1901. It's just a 1901 plane. If it was a 1901S, that would have been a, a, about an $85 coin or thereabouts. Uh, it would have been a, a, a good mint mark. So, not a bad week. Not a bad week for just the two times that I went out, I think. And uh, so there's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go to an old house and dig up in the yard, put on your tailgate, and make a wrap-up. The greatest treasure, my friend, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.